Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the look of a chart block in your Squarespace website using just a little bit of custom CSS. We're going to add unique borders and backgrounds and change up some of the text alignment in this chart block using some of the custom codes listed in the description below. Let's hop in into my demo site here so I can show you exactly how these codes work so you'll understand which ones you'll want to use. All right, here we are in my demo site, and I do want to mention these codes will work in version 7 or 7.1. So if you're using an older version of Squarespace, this is still the right tutorial for you, okay? So I've got three different types of charts here. Uh, let's hop into edit mode really quickly so I can show you. If you just click the plus sign and select chart from the option right here, you'll be able to pick one of these three styles. I'm going to double click on this one. This is set to the pie chart. We have bar, line, and pie. You can add your data here. And under design is where you can add the title, the caption, toggle on the legend if you want that to show, and then change your color palette. Uh, let's go ahead and grab M3 for this one so it'll look even different, even more different. There we go. So that's how you adjust those. And again, we have bar, pie, and line. Those are the three options that we have. And these are the codes we're going to use to customize them. So let's go ahead and save our work here. And we're going to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. Here we go. This is where we're going to paste these codes. So I want to mention right off the bat, all three of them have a unique selector or code name. Bar charts go by this name pie charts, this one, and line graphs, or the line charts, are 1010. That's the chart type. So if I grab this code and paste it right here, just to show you exactly what I mean by this, we'll open up a curly bracket and say border 1px solid red. And now you can see just the line chart is getting that red border. We've isolated just that one. If we want to apply the same border to all types of charts, we can call it out by the chart block container. So instead of its specific code name, I'm going to say chart block container, and now all of my charts will get that border. We can use the same code to give them a background too, if you want to say background pink. And I'll close that with the curly bracket and remove the curly bracket from there so it's a correct code. There we go. <laughs> and now it says background pink, and it's been applied to every single chart. Let's say we want to isolate just the pie chart. I'm going to grab its code name here and paste that at the beginning of my code. And there we go. Just the pie chart gets that specific code. Pretty interesting, right? All right, let's play around with some more. Uh, we have the chart block caption. I'll go ahead and use that. If we just want the caption to get a unique border and background, I'll paste that there. Our next option is to do this to the legend. We have the entire legend container here. I'm going to grab that code name and paste it in the top. There we go. And now just the legend is getting that border and that background color. And then last but not least, the legend content itself. If you want to isolate those individually, paste that code right there and it'll go around just the actual items. Notice how population in the line chart and the bar chart here changed. When we had the entire legend, it would stretch all the way to the width of the container. But we said just the content that's going to pull it in a little bit. This one for the pie chart was already stretched to the edges, so you're not going to see a difference there. Alrighty, now last but not least, I did create a pre-made style. I'm going to copy it from my notes here and paste it just to show you how cool you really can customize these charts. I went ahead and gave it a border with a radius, a gradient background, an inset shadow for the caption so things could really stand out. And I align the text of that caption to be in the center as well. And this code is listed in the description below, but I wanted to give you just a little sneak peek of the fun things that you can do now that you have all of the code names that we've been playing around with in this tutorial. Whatever you decide to go with, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this quick tutorial. And again, the codes I just shared with you are listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can learn how to customize your Squarespace website in a brand new tutorial every single Tuesday. Thanks again for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.